Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So there's a couple different storm systems to watch during this time period. The first one is going to be moving through the Wasatch today and into Colorado over the next couple of days. And then the pattern's going to shift up to the northern tier, Pacific Northwest and BC, 39 through 311, and then it's going to come back to the south. So there's a couple different shifts that are going to happen. Um, so here's the timing. Wasatch, you'll see light snow accumulation today and then heavy accumulation 311 through 330 once the pattern comes back to the south. Tetons, moderate to heavy snow, 311 through 313. Colorado, you're going to have some light to moderate snow this afternoon uh, through tomorrow, and then moderate to heavy snow, 312 through 314. In the northeast, you've got moderate to heavy snow coming 39, late 39 through 310, so that's still in my forecast. Let me show you um, what things look like here this morning. Uh, this is water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, again, you, you've got your moisture aloft in your whites, your blues, and your greens. So here is our, our storm system, first one. And it's going to be dropping down through the Wasatch today, and it's going to roll towards the four corners and then become a Colorado low on 3.8. It'll have some development and some enhancement once it reaches southeast Colorado, and that may help to increase a little bit some of the snowfall right on top of the Continental Divide and in southern Colorado as a result. Now behind it, got a storm up here and a larger one behind it. Both of these become part of that shift to the north. So all of that energy and that moisture will be rolling into the Pacific Northwest and also BC in the northern tier, 3, 9, 10, and 11 before this whole pattern begins to drift back to the south. So that's what lies ahead. In fact, here's the latest jet forecast and you can see the storm system, the dip in the jet. Um, it's moving through Utah and approaching the four corners today and it becomes a mature storm tomorrow down in southeast Colorado, but not a big storm. Here's 3.8, so there's the end of day 3.8. Here's 3.9, it begins to move away, and then everything begins to shift up to the Pacific Northwest. Northern branch becomes dominant. You can see that flow, it's very obvious. Uh, there's 3.11, and then we start to see it shift to the south. You can see the northern branch buckle, a nice little dip right there on 3.12. So there's an initial piece on 311 that'll race through, and then here comes the larger batch, 312, 313. Look at the dip, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, and 314, it is still there. By 315, it moves away, and we start to see some ridging across the, uh, the coast. All right, here's precip on top of all this. So that's the forecast radar by 5.30 this afternoon. Light snows moving through the Wasatch, light to moderate in Colorado. Watch the low spin up right there in southeast Colorado. So it's going to throw some snow back over the top of Denver. Looks like light accumulations late uh, tonight into tomorrow morning for Denver over the eastern plains. Um, by the afternoon hours, a lot of that has ended in Denver and still some snow though over the, uh, the high country and then the low begins to break up and move away by Saturday. And then everything shifts up to the Pacific Northwest. That's where the emphasis is going to be. So there's that initial wave on 311 kind of crossing Utah, Wyoming. But here comes the larger storm system right here. This is the one that brings the jet to the south and everything buckles. And you've got heavier snows through Wyoming, Utah, Colorado through early 315. And then that's it. Like I said, after that, high pressure starts to build in across the west. All right, here are my latest numbers. So my uh, grand total map, by late 316, looking at about 1 to 2 feet for the Wasatch, anywhere from 6 to 10 in the Tetons. And Colorado's numbers have stayed pretty steady, 8 to 16 inches. Um, anywhere in purple on this map is over a foot. Um, so looking at California, most of the additional snow is going to be from Tahoe North to Shasta during this time period. And decent snows up there, 1, 2, maybe 3 feet for Whistler down to Baker, Rainier, Timberline, Bachelor, and Stevens. And uh, Red Mountain and Fernie, Revelstoke, in, in pretty good position here for 8, 9, 10, maybe a foot of snow, uh, grand totals during this time period. All right, breaking it down by phase or by time period, 3, 7 through 3, 8, so today through tomorrow, um, anywhere from 2 to 5, roughly, for the Wasatch. And in Colorado, anywhere from 1 to 4, a little heavier down in southern Colorado over Wolf Creek and Silverton. Okay, next time period, 3.9 through 3.11, everything shifts up to the Pacific Northwest, and that's where we're going to see the biggest numbers of a foot or more, potentially, uh, in the Pacific Northwest. The numbers in interior BC start to tick up in Fernie, Red Mountain, and Revelstoke, and we could see a foot over Tahoe and maybe two feet over Shasta during that time period. All right, last phase, 3.12 through 3.16, everything drops back to the south with that northern branch buckling and looking at about a foot for the, uh, the Wasatch, anywhere from three to six in the Tetons, and the numbers in Colorado during this time period are pretty good. 
I'm um, looking at anywhere from six to 12 inches just in this time period alone. Northern uh, New Mexico also benefits with about four to eight inches of snow. Okay, let's go to the northeast. Last stop. Numbers here eh, down just slightly, but still looking at eight to 12 inches of accumulation, mainly late 3.9 into 3.10, assuming, again, the temperatures stay cold enough. But uh, that's really the main focus. The big game in town is going to be late 3.9 into 310. All right, we're going to end on the uh, the grand total map here this morning. Again, uh, totals by late 316. You can see the numbers. It's a decent period. It's nice to have some fresh snow um, between 37 and 315. After 315, like I said, everything starts to dry out. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate it and take care.